conduit versus Troll! For Doomhammer, the light shall bring victory. All right, it looks like we're up against a shaman. As you can see, we are playing the VLPS Priest. I think it's a pretty sweet deck. I'm glad he shared it with people. Uh, one major difference is that instead of running Elise, the Trailblazer, we're actually running a Charged Devil Sword. That's not because I think the Charged Devil Sword is better than Elise, it's just that I don't want to craft Elise Trailblazer. It's an extra legendary that I don't particularly need. The uh, reason why I think the uh, Charge Devil Sword is an alright replacement is they're both early. They both do uh, slightly different things. The Charge Devil Sword is a bit more for controlling the board, whereas uh, Elise is more for getting you late game value. So, bit of give, bit, bit of take. Uh, looks like we've disconnected? No? Alright, not sure what that lag was for. I think we're just gonna toss down the Northshire because there's a good chance that he's gonna play a quest on turn one. There we go. He did, in fact, play the quest, so we are up against Murlocs. Right away. Now, we missed our two, but that's okay. We'll get the Acolyte of Pain out on three. Okay, well, I'm actually not super worried about the Manatide Totem. I mean... The main bonus he gets from Megafin is refilling his hand. If his hand's already full, it doesn't really matter. And we're going to get some card draw going as well, so it should not be a huge problem. That, uh, that war leader. We could try and discover a Shadow Word Pain, and if we don't make it, I guess we can Doomsayer. A few alternatives here. I think we're going to want the Circle of Healing board clear later, so we're actually going to go for that. Now he should be able to clear this if he has a uh, Bluegill Warrior in hand. But I think that's the only easy way to do it. Other ways would involve using spells. Alright, a hex. It's reasonable. Puts us into an awkward position. Go for another Shadow Visions. Hey, Dragonfire Potion is exactly what we need right now. This is going to draw him another card, which puts him at 9, so he does need to start playing cards pretty soon. Alright, that's not so scary. Hmm. 
We could use the Dragonfire Potion there, but I think I'd rather wait till he puts a little bit more. I mean, this is going to be an attrition game. We need to, uh, hopefully outlast his value. And that means making our, uh, Area of Effect spells do a lot more. Like, here, we're gonna get two more cards in it than we would have otherwise. And yeah, we're taking an extra 12 damage or so, but... Or 11 damage, I suppose. But it seems worth it to me. Let's see what we get. Murloc War Leader, okay. Not particularly useful for us. Is someone injured? We're putting down the Northshire just so we have some way to contest the board, and it forces him to play cards that won't allow us to draw, so... just constrains his options a little bit. Alright, well... I guess we're going to try to dirty rat his uh, megafin. So we have to wait until he completes his quest before we can do that. And we have to hope that he completes the quest and doesn't play his megafin on the same turn. That's, it's pretty likely that he won't because he'll want to empty his hand somewhat before he plays it. And he's going to complete it this turn, I believe. That's one. He only needs one more Murloc, so... Ah, oh, there we go. Now we are essentially dead. For honor. But if we can weather this storm, then we should be good. I think we put down the second Dirty Rat. The only thing that would punish us would be his second War Leader, but he hasn't played that yet, and I think he probably would have. Alright, that's perfect. Ooh, Bloodlust, that probably kills us. Unfortunately. Alright, he's gonna toy with us. Good game, well played. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.